To be completely honest, I did not think I would ever do a fighting game garbage on anything in Guilty Gear Strive. In my update video, I figured that I never really saw myself doing it, with one possible exception. Funnily enough, this isn't that exception. The video idea I had in mind for a fighting game garbage in Guilty Gear Strife was Nagoya Yuki's Max Blood Rage, which in hindsight would have been kinda stupid. Because Max Blood Rage is bad, but it's one of those things that needs to be bad. It just needs to be bad to balance out how good Nago's specials are. Now that I've played a lot of Nagori Yuki, I understand that Max Blood Rage is fine the way it is. I don't think I'd change a thing about it. Like, yeah, I understand that it's annoying you can't use your specials as much as you want, but the trade-off is that Nago's specials are insane. You've got stuff like a projectile that eats all other projectiles, and this massive spin which is zero on block for some reason. I mean, I'll take it. The topic of this video is one of Faust's overdrives. Bone-crushing excitement. This was a suggestion from someone in the comments, and it's one of those moves that kind of makes you go, Huh. That is kind of bad. It's not really something I thought about, but there's a lot of things about this super that just don't match up to other supers in the game, even though I wouldn't really call it terrible. Now, some people might point out, why not just make a video on Faust as a whole, since he is a low tier in this game, and there's two reasons why I don't really want to. One, I've wanted to make a shorter video for quite a while, and this seemed like a great opportunity. And secondly, I'd really hate to give off the vibe that someone in this game is unviable, because no one is. Strive is a relatively balanced game, and while tiers already do not matter for a massive majority of players, they matter even less when the game is 1 new and 2 disbalanced. Pick whoever you want, have fun with the game. I think a rather obvious weakness about this super is that the damage isn't particularly high. This might seem like a dumb complaint, considering that Faust as a character has pretty low damage, but it's even low in damage compared to some of Faust's other combos. That combo just consisted of two normals into a super, and it did 185 damage. That might sound good, but for comparison, here's a combo that starts with the same two normals, but I spend my meter on a Roman cancel instead of a super. I only did two less damage, but I'm getting the positive bonus from breaking the wall, also, just for the record, if you want to use that combo, but you find skewer into skewer to break the wall kind of difficult, then here's a slightly easier version that does a tiny bit less damage. Still definitely worth going for. Now, something you might be thinking is why not just do three normals into super to get the extra damage? Well... See, despite the fact he lunges forward, this super has really disappointing range. That's honestly a massive shame, because completing combos at range can be genuinely quite difficult for Faust. So, if it had a tiny bit more range, I would really appreciate this. Another thing you might be thinking is if the positive bonus for breaking the wall is such a big deal, then why not just use super to break the wall? This, in my opinion, is the worst thing about the super. It doesn't break the wall. On top of not breaking the wall, it takes you out of the corner and leaves you both at mid-screen. Being able to break the wall is pretty staple for most other cinematic supers, so it's really weird that Faust is just left out like this. It's really good for those supers too, because you get Oki and you build back the meter. 
Now, it's not like Faust has a hard time breaking the wall or anything. He doesn't. He has a lot of ways to do it. He can do it meaderlessly in the corner. He can do it after a throw with a Roman cancel. He can do it off anti -airs. And, my personal favourite, if you get a just frame home run after landing a skewer near the corner, you automatically break the wall. I fucking love this character, dude. <laughs> also, it's not really a weakness of the super, but you might have noticed that Faust gets some pretty great uses of Roman Cancel. It gives him some really great combos, and on top of that, it makes a lot of his pretty whatever options really scary, especially Scarecrow. It's not that this makes the super bad, but it does make you reconsider what to spend your meter on. Damn, the throw looks so fucking good, dude. On top of the offensive capabilities, Faust really appreciates the defensive options granted to him through the use of meter, such as using Roman Cancel to stay safe, Just Defense, and Yellow Roman Cancel. Again, this isn't a weakness of the super, it's just that this is another thing that you could be spending your meter on. Speaking of defensive options, however, it is important to note that this super is Faust's only invincible reversal. However, it's hampered as an invincible reversal by the incredibly long startup. It has 19 frames of startup, 16 before the freeze and 3 after. This really hurts its utility, and it's very unsafe on block too, minus 32. People familiar with Street Fighter V might kinda recognize this situation, cause there's a similar problem that Yurian has with his EX headbutt. This move is invincible on frame 1, but it hits on frame 12. This can lead to situations where you pressure Yurian's wake up with a fast recovering light attack, your attack can lose to the invincibility of EX Headbutt, but you recover in time to block the EX Headbutt and punish him. In a way, you're punishing Yurian for guessing right, which is kind of funny. Another thing that hurts it as an invincible reversal is the fact that it has an incredibly low hitbox. This means it loses solidly to air dash pressure. On top of that, because of the 16 frames before the super freeze, even though you're immune to the opponent's air dash pressure because you're invincible, they normally just have time to land. Now, while it really sucks you can't break the wall with this super, what you can break is your opponent's will to live, because with a little bit of dumb luck from your item throw, you can actually combo after the super. I have no idea what the optimal combos here are, and I'd imagine no one else does. You can even land a second super here, which is... Man. Now, I can think of one very nice use of this super, even though it's not exclusive to this super in particular, and that's to prevent burst. It really feels bad when you're ready to do a sick Roman cancel combo, but you do the Roman cancel and your opponent just bursts. Of course you can bait it, but you're not going to bait it every time. And you've just kind of lost 50% tension right then and there. However, you can't break in the middle of the super, so... That's it. They have to take that damage, so you have to respect that. Now, this is mainly just for people who aren't familiar with them, but Faust has two other supers, and I'll just pay tribute to them real quick. The first is what, what, what could this be? 
Faust's main gimmick is his what could this be? Which throws a random item. And what, what, what could this be? Just throws three at once. It's pretty simple. I don't use it very much, but that's because I like to save my tension for the other version. Faust has a third super some people might not even know about, and it's some of the funniest shit I've ever seen thrown into a fighting game. Triple quarter circle forward and punch is whoa 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 what could this be? You throw 10 items at once and it is complete bullshit. I really like doing this even though it costs all of your meter. It's just really good at the end of a round when the opponent has a tiny bit of health left and you're like, neutral? Dude, fuck that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Faust's bone-crushing excitement in Guilty Gear Strive. I didn't expect to come back to this game with the fighting game garbage, but this was a suggestion from Pokeorst, and I'm glad I did it. This was fun to do. I'm sorry if you felt a little underwhelmed by a shorter video, and not having anything that crazy to say about the move, just that it was kind of underwhelming compared to the other supers in the game, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. I enjoyed this a lot.